In other videos, we've shown that diamonds are cut for weight, and sadly, most measure or spread smaller in millimetres than they should for their carat weight. This distribution chart shows the biggest peak at one carat. The peaks are because the price per carat jumps at those magic weights, so cutters have to push to achieve those weights and produce badly proportioned diamonds or they go broke. 90% of those one carat diamonds should have been cut into a smaller 90 point category. But it's not the worst of it because they have lousy light performance most actually look smaller than a good 90 point diamond. Fancy shaped diamonds are all those other cuts and shapes other than round. Sometimes it makes more sense to cut say a heart shaped diamond because there's a big inclusion in one area and these can be cut out where the heart shaped decolette is. Of course there are lots of other shapes of diamonds and in most cases the diamond cutter will decide what he's going to cut out of an individual crystal of diamond. So depending upon the shape of the crystal of the diamond as to what's the most economic highest value stone that they can cut and polish. But since most diamonds are round, how do you know that a round diamond is cut properly? That's the hard question. Because as we know, the cut means two things. It means the shape and the cut quality. The cut quality is by far the most important of the four C's. On a grading report, there will be a cut grade that ranges from excellent to poor. This is based mainly on the proportions and angles, and to a lesser extent, the symmetry and polish. Diamonds that sparkle the most are those that have the best proportions. It's nearly always impossible, though, to rely on a grading report to tell you which is the best cut. But you can use my patented Holloway Cut Advisor by entering the data from a grading report at the link on the screen. To watch a video on how to use HCA, go to this link for a YouTube demo. You can also compare different diamonds in jewellery shops side by side, but only if you know that you have a perfect stone as a comparison. You cannot compare different diamonds in different lighting. That's why I invented the Ideal Scope. It's like a little portable lighting environment that you take with you. It costs $25 and you can buy it from idealscope.com.